Good afternoon, YouTube. All right, in this video, I want to show you and give you a quick walk around of my milk crate right here. My theory on the milk crate, how I'm going to make mine better, and just my theory on it. So, here we go. Ah. Got you now. You almost got me. All right, milk crate. I know a lot of y'all have heard about milk crates. You've probably seen them on YouTube, but it's probably one of the one of the top things you need for your kayak. Do you need one? No, but they make your life a lot easier. Let me show you how. Okay, so here's the basic setup for mine. I've got these right here, which I bought at Academy. I've got two right here and two right here going straight back and a place for a flag. All right, now you might be wondering why I have the two going straight back. Well, the two, these, these right here that go straight back is for when I am in bridge mode, as I call it. Hold on a second, I'll show you, hold on. All right, so when you're fishing, you wanna be able to move your rods around from point A to point B around your kayak because you don't have a lot of room to work with. All right, so I keep my rods like this usually, in this position. Now, when you go under a bridge, the bridge is X feet high. And of course, your rod tips are gonna scratch, okay? And they're gonna ruin your tips or they're gonna break your tips. So what I do is when I go under the bridge, I just basically spin around right here. And I pick this one up, pick it up, and I put it back here like this all right now straight back same way with this one if I know these right here are too high I just merely sit it back like this just like that now if I've got to reach back and get it I totally I totally can from right here just reach back pick it up it's a little ways I mean you can adjust this you know up or back or however I usually run with it back and put extra storage right here but remember that if you have your, your rods in this position if you have them in this position uh, the hooks no matter where you put them right here are going to be right beside your head if you roll your kayak the hooks are by your head also it can get caught on your jacket right here if it's behind you so just be aware of that also when you make these Make sure you use the big enough uh, PVC pipe that will fit your offshore rods because one day you might want to go offshore and you don't want to recreate the wheel by getting new PVC pipe and attaching it on here. Um, also these angled back ones will allow you to kind of troll with it back here and when the fish grabs it, when he grabs it, he's not going to pull it out and um, it just works, it just works good. It's a happy medium. So looking from the back, you can see um, I did that and I, I ran out of PVC pipe when I was making this. Use the, the bigger PVC pipe that will fit your rods. This front part I actually purchased from Academy right here. And it allows you to put hooks and your pliers and stuff in there. And then I added some, I added some pool noodle right here to actually stick the hooks in. Um, it kind of works as an on-the-fly lure holder and the lures can still get air and you can rinse them off with a hose if you put them in a container they wind up looking like this so I actually took that tray out and I don't even use it anymore but I have a place for my knife you knife usually goes there or up here or just in here in general um, I keep a lot of my miscellaneous stuff in here which is usually just drunk Junk and gloves, junk and gloves. As you can see some old nasty gloves. But the crate allows you, oh, I forgot to add this. This right here, this bungee, is just a, um, a motorcycle like bungee cord net from Harbor Freight, it was like two bucks. It's probably the best thing that I could have put on there because if you roll, everything doesn't fall out of your crate or if you drop your crate, everything doesn't fall out. You've got a, a good, you know, way of keeping things like that. Also, I got my little sewer's tape with the numbers. That's really it. All it is is a milk crate that came from a milk store. 
it was given to me i didn't get it from the milk store i just went ahead zip tied all this stuff on here got weird with some bungee or with some zip ties and some pvc pipe and that's really all your crate is a milk crate are usually free don't go buy one from academy um pvc pipe you can get you a set a piece that's you know three four feet long for you know 10 bucks or whatever cut it up zip time on there and it'll last you a long time i've literally been using this same crate my entire kayak fishing career and they will last you a long time you get a lot of happiness out of it allows you to keep your stuff consolidated and condensed it's right behind you water bottles things aren't you know rattling all over the place um, go ahead and put your comments down below don't forget to share your milk crate ideas on facebook on my facebook page that way everybody can learn from your ideas and comment down below with your ideas things you got to input don't forget to follow me on instagram don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later